Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got another fun video uh, talking about uh, my old maxim that a plan is just a plan. One of my coworkers has been going through uh, some of our historic documents collections, uh, primarily manuals and things like that, and he found this folder in the collection. It is Ship Alt 1021D install physical condition facilities on Iowa class battleships. And it is a uh, folder full of copies of instructions for converting a magazine space around turret three into a gym, essentially. Uh, so we saw this and we thought, cool, we know there are some gyms on the battleship. We don't know what was in them. So th this, this is great. It tells us the sort of equipment they have, and maybe it's showing us where another gym is. So it's, uh, we're down here on fourth deck in the magazine spaces, and we're like, hmm, we don't go down there very often. Is there perhaps a space there that was converted to a gym that we just didn't recognize because all of our weight equipment was removed from the ship? Uh, those sorts of equipments tend to be bought from the, shoes, uh, from the ship's welfare and morale fund. And when the ship is decommissioned, that equipment tends to get taken elsewhere and reuse. So we know New Jersey had several gyms in various places around the ship, um, and they even moved during the 1980s as new things were installed, but we've got zero idea what was in them. Uh, I can't even think of a good picture of one of those spaces that survived uh, in one of the cruise books or any of the uh, photo groups that have been donated back to the museum. So something like this was great. We were really excited to find it, and then we found that this conversion probably wasn't done on New Jersey. It definitely wasn't done on New Jersey as it says. Uh, so we have to th think about why that is. So first off, it says that the change was made to uh, a space called 4 TAC 151 TAC 4 TAC M, which is the space we're in now. But as we go through this, it shows blueprints of the space or a scan of a blueprint of the space uh, and what the space will be converted to. And those blueprints do not show this space. This is the outboard forward uh, port side 16 inch powder magazine for turret three. Uh, and it's, it's got that name, the name that it's listing on the forms. But this is in the right space. It also uses the old World War II name, uh, C402 and a half. M. So this space is not C402 and a half. Half spaces tend to be added when a whole space is subdivided, like you build a room in the middle. Um, so here, here's the old World War II name of the space that would have been used all the way up through the Vietnam War on this ship. If this space gets walled over because this is going to be converted to something else, then this would be uh, 402 and that would be 402 and a half. So that, that's where you get half spaces. So now we're confused. The space wasn't converted. Um, the book is talking about a 40 millimeter magazine and this is obviously a 16 inch magazine, not a 40 millimeter magazine. Uh, and it's showing a space that was partitioned presumably uh, earlier in the ship's career, probably pretty early if it's still a 40 millimeter magazine. So, um, we did some looking around and we found the space. We didn't have to look that hard, it's right next door. Come over and check it out. So here is the space that matches the blueprints. Here you can see this is C402A, um, but the compartment checkoff list under it says C402 and a half A. And here you can see where they blanked over what used to be an opening making this space and the space on the opposite side of this bulkhead all one big room. So uh, we, we found our space where they blanked over a wall, changed the name. Um, the stencil doesn't say it. You can't really put a half on uh, these sorts of stencils. They, they don't make uh, those metal plates that the, these ships would have carried uh, with those sorts of fractions. They, they probably make them. There's probably a way to do it. It's so much more work when you're going around and hand doing this especially as a 18 year old non-right who has to do all this work. Uh, but the compartment checkoff list does say that this is what it is. 
Uh, it's calling this the weapons department storeroom, not the 40 millimeter magazine that this uh, plan is calling for. Why is that? Keep in mind, New Jersey's reactivated during Vietnam. Her 40 millimeters are removed and all of the storerooms are repurposed. The other Iowa class battleships were mothballed in the 1950s and still had their 40 millimeter guns on board until they were reactivated in the 80s. And at that time, not until the 1980s, did those ships get their spaces reused. So perhaps the reason this space isn't converted is because New Jersey's already using it for something else. So let's uh, go through these plans real quick. Uh, purpose, to provide for a crew physical conditioning facility. The Navy wants to start including gyms on their ships. Uh, this is probably another, uh, obviously it benefits the military to have in shape crew, um, but it's probably another addition that uh, is being made alongside the all volunteer military, along with air conditioning and televisions and things like this. You, you get a gym on board. Um, in the existing 40 millimeter magazine, accomplish the following. Modify and outfit the compartment with new equipment for installation of a physical conditioning facility. Check, uh, install foundations and brackets associated with new equipment, install fluorescent lighting uh, to provide an illumination of uh, 28 foot candles. Uh, hmm. and uh, install an HVAC system to maintain the compartment temperature at 80 degrees in the summer and 70 in the winter, uh, utilizing Navy standard cooler, convector, and thermostat, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, install new compartmentation label plates. So uh, obviously that is not done here. We do not have any, oh, no, that's not true. We do have some fluorescent light fixtures added on after the fact, although we also have uh, old World War II era globe type fixtures in here. And I'm not seeing that many um, fluorescent fixtures. That's the only one I see right now. So that may, that tells me that this is not 28 foot candles of light in the space if there's just a single fluorescent fixture. Uh, obviously there's no brackets on the deck. You can see the welded brackets where the old 40 millimeter magazine posts were, uh, and those have been cut off by and large, probably during Vietnam when the space was converted into something else. Um, but we're not seeing the sorts of brackets that you see associated with weight equipment. And uh, let's see, we've got some hydraulics in the overhead, but no ventilation, no, uh, Neither the original sort of um, chilled water radiators that you see in magazine spaces, nor a modern uh, air conditioner ventilation. So it seems like on New Jersey, they did not perform any of these changes at all in this space. Now uh, let's see. This draft is dated September 29, 1984. And then on this next page, uh, we've got a stamp that says it was received on 14 January, 1986. It says the applicable ships are Iowa, New Jersey, and Missouri. It doesn't say Wisconsin. Wisconsin hasn't been reactivated yet. She's not reactivated until 1988. So this does say it's applicable to New Jersey, but my suspicion is that was not carried out because the space was already reused and they either already had a gym on board that the crew had done, or they just chose a different space that was easier to modify. Uh, by this point, New Jersey is active. Uh, in 1986, Missouri is just joining the fleet and becoming the second Pacific battleship. So there's a strong chance that New Jersey was not being taken out of service for long periods to make modifications like this uh, until Missouri actually enters the fleet and there's another battleship to trade off with. So that may be why the work isn't done on us. And unfortunately, I can't say for sure if this work was ever done on any of the other Iowas. I'm fairly certain they all had gyms, but off the top of my head, I can't tell you where they were. Uh, I, I will reach out to the curators at those other museums and see if they know where their gyms were. But they have a lot of the same issues as we have in that the, the gyms are no longer there anymore. They're, they're just empty rooms now. 
So what else do we have here? Okay, we've got uh, descriptions of everything that they're doing. Things like uh, removing the... Uh, we've got descriptions of everything they're doing. Things like removing the old 40 millimeter equipment from the unsigned space. Obviously that doesn't apply to New Jersey. The space had been assigned already. Uh, remove the magazine sprinkler system. And we've got a couple of pipes here that say it's 110 PSI fire mains and uh, sprinkler systems, but it, those are probably going to the 16 inch magazine outboard of us where we were originally in this video. I don't see any sprinkler heads for this magazine. So that work might've been done. Sprinkler piping removal, removal terminate uh, downstream. So obviously the piping is not removed. We still have a lot of that piping coming through. Uh, remove existing air escape and cap. Not sure what I would be looking for there. Um, compartment and access. Change the designation from unassigned to physical fitness room and provide a new compartment label. That's pretty simple. Still have to get down here by a vertical ladder, but like if you're going to the gym, you probably are able to do a vertical ladder. Install equipment, blah, blah, blah. Um, install HVAC, again, that's not done. Uh, install internal communications. Oh, install a Type G ship service telephone. That's another one that, uh, yeah, no, they didn't do that. So obviously a storeroom like this is not habited nearly so much as a fitness room would be. Uh, so they, New Jersey never got a, a Type G telephone in here. Huh, install FM radio receiver. Uh, and it specifies a specific Sony uh, radio to be able to connect to the ship's entertainment system. And we do not have any of that. Modify overhead lighting. Uh, and then there's a cool thing here at the bottom. The BB-61 class is in stability status four. A rise of the ship's center of gravity is acceptable, but increase in weight must be avoided. Therefore, full weight compensation must be provided concurrently with the installation of this ECP slash SAR. Uh, so I'm not sure what stability status four means off the top of my head, but the Iowas do deploy during the 1980s, probably at their heaviest weight ever uh, with all the new missile systems added. And it seems to be saying, if you add more weight here, you gotta take it out somewhere else. Uh, interestingly though, often the plans will say where you take that out, and this doesn't specifically. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, and now we've got the <sighs> blueprint, if you can call it that, of what the space looked like originally. That one doesn't come out particularly clear, sorry guys. Uh, that's the best we've got. And uh, slightly clearer of what it will look like and uh, it looks like, that's interesting, there are several pieces of equipment stacked up on this wall, just one right next to the other, five pieces total. And there's a piece here and a piece back there. And then there's two pieces here up against the barbette and two more in this corner. So that's a uh, pretty full space. Uh, goes on to list all of the blueprints that are required to make these changes by their numbers, and it has a list of material. A uh, flat bench, a power leg press, bilateral arm curl, a chin bar, pullover machine, abdominal sit-up board, total power machine, exercise cycle, a dip bar, shoulder and chest press, and then the uh, loudspeakers, FM radio, etc. So, even though this change definitely isn't made on this ship, um, it's interesting to see what sort of equipment. This is the first time we've seen an actual list of the gym equipment. This actually uh, says what company it is and what model number in 1986 the, the Navy is buying for the Iowa class battleships. So even though this doesn't happen in, in this space on this ship, it finally gives us an idea of what sort of equipment would have probably been in the gyms on this ship. If this is the sort of stuff 
that's coming out of the, the military inventory to come onto this ship uh, and, and that's being planned for Iowa class battleships. And it's likely this is the sort of stuff that was installed on New Jersey in one of those other spaces that we have. So that is a very interesting document, even if it is just showing a change that was never made, at least on this ship. What else do we have here? Uh, that page just says, see page 1A. Just a list of uh, work orders after that. So, documents like these are cool because they both help us fill in our knowledge about the equipment that was on the ship and changes that were not made or uh, possible evidence of more unauthorized ship offs if this crew did one thing and installed everything ordered in here with blueprints and, and lists of blueprints that are being modified and things like that, but they didn't convert the space and, and did it somewhere else entirely. So this is all terribly exciting stuff for me and it helps us increase our knowledge of these battleships. Um, this has been in a storeroom on this ship probably since the, uh, the ship was decommissioned and, and when she was in service before that. It just takes time for us to go through and find these documents and read them and, and figure out what their significance is. And uh, unfortunately, there's never enough time to do this sort of research. There, there will be documents in there that we don't get to for years and years from here on out. And that's one of the reasons why your donations here are important to the museum, because it allows us to bring on more staff and pay them to do this sort of research so that we can improve our knowledge of the Iowa class battleships. So really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, what's your favorite piece of gym equipment? Let us know in the comments section down below. Uh, I'm a runner, I don't do much weightlifting, but I hate treadmills. It's so much better to run outside than on a treadmill. Uh, if I had the privilege of serving on an Iowa class battleship, I would probably do laps around the main deck rather than on a treadmill in a space like this. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to allow you to continue to support so we can keep doing cool research like this. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.